The most important thing to have when shucking an oyster is a good oyster knife. The best ones come to a tip and have a blunt side as well as a sharp side. It doesn't have to be too sharp, just sharp enough to cut the abductor off the top of the shell. That's the piece that holds the shell together and makes it open and close. Oysters should feel heavy for their size. They should have a flat side and a rounded bottom cup side. When you're storing them, you always want to store them cup side down so they can still breathe. When shucking an oyster, focus on the hinge area at the back of the oyster. It's important to use a thick, clean cloth during this process to help keep your hands safe. Fold the clean cloth over top, take the oyster knife, and stick it right into the hinge. Pushing in, with a hand flat on top, push and twist, popping the hinge a little bit. Once that's popped, take the sharp end of your knife, insert it into the oyster, slide it along the flat top inside the oyster, and slice off the abductor, which is what holds the oyster shut. Next, pick up the bottom of the shell and cut loose the abductor from the bottom. Making sure your knife is clean, insert the knife under the oyster flesh and run it along the inside of the shell so that it will slide out easily. Finally, run your finger around the outside of the oyster to remove any debris. Visit atcobluflamekitchen.com for more tips.